Hey everybody, I'm Leslie of Blessing Creations coming to you from somewhere. Anyway, I am a custom and ready wear fashion designer who loves to create clothes for plus size women. Hootie hoo. But I actually have been teaching people how to sew for years and never really thought about it. Just did it because I really want other people to know um, at least a little bit of what I can do. And by teaching somebody else, the craft continues. So, for me, the main focus tends to always be plus size women. But also, plus size women goes with plus size men or big men or big and tall. So, I actually have been doing um, alterations and things for big and tall guys. So, doing that has taught me a whole, whole, whole lot. Sometimes, you know, it's been difficult and other times it's been really easy. Um, and when I tend to explain things to folks, I tell them there is a difference between doing an alteration for somebody and crafting um, a garment from beginning to end. And a lot of people think it's just the same. No, it takes other skills when it comes to doing um, alterations. Um, so I do that as well. Well, in my, I say, I, what I want to say, how I want to say it, um, in my skill set, I guess, I think that's the word, um, by me working out and trying different things out and doing p particular alterations, um, I've learned that I am very much a detailed person and being a detailed person, that's the reason why I've gotten really good at doing alterations. And I say that because what I do is, it's like when you see a draft, um, a draft of a building, the floor plan. And you look at it and you see where the best place a designer looks for the ble 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 best place to put things. Um, and for me, that's sort of like a garment is a blueprint for me. And when I see it, I don't um, rush to do that alteration for it. I take the time and really look at it. I look at how it's constructed. Um, how the stitches cross, um, how um, one piece is married to the other, whether or not this piece was added last or added first, um, whether or not they did additional stitching on it. So I do take the time to really look at it. So for me, before I actually physically alter something, I actually start to mentally alter it because if I don't do it that way, you can actually make a mistake. Um, whereas it doesn't look as if it looks like a craft store project. And I never want anything that I alter or work on looks like a craft store project. And that kind of gave me more of a segue to work on a lot of things for as making modifications for plus size clothing. Now, mind you, doing it for myself and doing it for me of course, my shape is different from other people's. So I've practiced and done a lot of stuff for my shape. So I know what to do for me. But when it came to trying to implement other shapes, but implement other shapes, it took me a little bit longer to kind of craft it and try to get it right. So, but because I started with doing alterations that actually led into me having more abilities and more skills and altering clothes for different shapes and different sizes. Um, and plus I've, you know, pretty much sewn for almost every size and every body type there is, uh, almost. So being that I've altered a lot for me, I've learned a lot, altering a lot for my husband as well. Um, knowing his build and how things drape and stand on him. So that's where the one video I actually just recently did come from. 
because when I make his shirts now, I do them differently than what you commercially would find them. And I like the way they hang better. Because um, I feel like sometimes they make garments and make shirts for men. And when they're on the plus size or a big guy or a tall guy, they don't consider their shape. Just like they don't consider our shape. They assume that we are straight up and down or have a little bit more boob area or that, what you want to say, statistical or normal body shape, quote unquote, um, really small, you know, what was it, 34, 28, 34, or 36, something like that, you know, a, a smaller frame, um, hourglass type um, person. Whereas in this world, we are filled with so many people who have so many different shapes. And that's where we get to the point where a lot of times we purchase clothes just to do us or we purchase the wrong size or we have to go get it altered. So for me, I have done so many different things all because of what I've had to do for myself and do for my husband. And it has taught me a lot. And in turn, I want to teach others what I can do. So I'm going to actually come on um, periodically and kind of teach you a few things that you can do. Little tips, little tricks um, that you can do simply or you will be able to ask for the right thing to be done um, for your garments. Sometimes you will have to take it out and have somebody else do it. Whereas you can't do it yourself. But if you know exactly what needs to be done, you avoid them playing with your garment and destroying it or messing it up where you can no, no longer use it, which I have found that to happen because I've gotten projects after they have been altered. And let's just say it's, it's interesting. It's interesting how people think and what they do. So I know that I've given you a lot of information right now. I kind of rambled on maybe, but try not to. So this is just about me. It's about me and wanting to teach. And so you'll see a little tips and some tricks. You will get some information that you can take back and use for yourself or even give to another designer or somebody who sells for you the information to help you out. Excuse me. Um, I am going to work really hard on doing better and getting on. I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably um, hard for me to be consistent and getting on um, social media. Um, I say why. Why? It's not because I'm scared of the camera. That's not it. But for me, it's hard because... I feel like it's part of a distraction and it affects um, my creativity, especially when I'm in a creative mode. That's even with people who come to my house or, you know, family members who knock on the door. That's sometimes a distraction for me and it'll pull me totally out of my inside mental voice that got me, you know, revved up in being creative. So sometimes I hate to say it, I, it just totally stops me. Um, one of these days, I guess I've changed. I don't know. Who knows? But I appreciate you coming and checking me out. If you enjoy this video, enjoy the information I have given you, or you would like to know more about what I do and what I can do, please make sure you come back, subscribe to my channel, come back to my videos, check me out. I'm going to do better. It's not going to always be perfect. I'm going to do better, though. I'm going to work real hard at that. So make sure you come along with me. Check me out. And I will catch y'all the next time. Um, let's create. Let's alter it and modify it. Moving on. Catch y'all later. Bye.